you're living down south for so long and it's still unnerving to walk into a meeting where most of the people are here five minutes before the meeting starts. <laughs> <That's not hard. laughs> Yeah, they want to live stream to YouTube, so there's another option for people to watch. Up here, we're supposed to be the decision to get made five minutes before the meeting was supposed to start. At least that's the way our company was. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Said that to Daryl. I said that the you know, umbrella yeah. was affected. Daryl says that that's not true. We should be effective. Daryl Walker asked. I hope so. I hope so too. This Verizon looks yeah. 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 It's so bad right now. Lately, it's, yeah, it's not bad. I dropped calls no matter where I can finish. Yeah. South Shore is bad. I was at the today and some colleague. Do you have uh, do you have Joe muted here? Yeah, so, I have a muted. Okay, looks like he's talking. I got a phone number. Yeah, you can get a phone number. Daryl works for Verizon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what he does. Um, him and his business partner, uh, for Walter Stewart, both work for Verizon. Yeah, where it's the phone reception has got terrible. I'm looking at this little antenna on about a hundred dollar deal. You put the antenna up, try and pull in some more, or have a better reception. I don't know if it's going to work or not. <clears throat> you can talk to somebody. Daryl, because yeah. he, he has a camp up there too. I think he's got it all set up. Used to work. Now I have to go out and stand on Preston. <laughs> close enough we'll get started um, i'm tom johns i'm the chairman of the zoning board for the village uh, with us tonight is kevin our building inspector sue Lori, steve lynn and our ad hoc ad hoc mark so uh, we'll get started uh, the way we do this if it's your first time here uh, we'll basically uh, hear your case and why you can't live with the village uh, zoning ordinances the way they are at that point we'll ask uh, if there's any public input, we'll, we'll get public input. And at that point, then we'll close down the public input and the board will talk about your situation and try and come up with a decision, verdict, whatever you want to call it. So we'll get started. We have two tonight. And the first one is uh, 
the uh, one that we talked about last week, and this is a variance at 8596 Craig Street. Guy, you're yep. here today. Okay. And what he would like to do, um, he wants to construct a 12 by six foot shed, two feet from the east property line where five feet are required, and six foot from the primary structure where eight feet are required. Uh, that'll give you 35% lot coverage where 30 is normally allowed. This is basically a density issue. So why don't you go ahead and tell us what you want to do. Um, for those of you that weren't here last week um, or two weeks ago, um, he had started a shed and we stopped it uh, where it was because it was uh, right on the line. Yeah. So uh, at this point, this is the second request. So why don't you fill us in? So it's the only other place that I know that really put the shed just hoping that I put it there because it doesn't uh block the view from the window or the entrance in and out if it's if it's there and I can't put it in the front by the road so I don't know any other way to put it. Okay. Good pull up a picture. Oh I'm just pulling up on the country so you guys have the overhead. Okay. Okay, so and when you talk, guy, when you talk about view, you're talking about your view, right? More, more or less. Yeah, and straight, straight and back to the, to the water. Okay. Okay. I walked around back there and sat and just took a look. No, um, it's it's tight back there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, now that we know what he'd like to do, we'll open it for public comment if there is any. Uh, now, either in person or Zoom, now your chance to speak up. I'm Guy's neighbor, Joe Pitty. Okay, Joe. Uh, I don't have a problem with him constructing a 6 by 12 shed, but I do have a couple issues on location and material used. Um, so I don't like it anywhere at that two foot or three foot prop near the property line. And I don't like the material of the steel being utilized. Um, if a shed's going to be built in that area off my patio, it's going to be right in my view constantly and the sun's going to hit it and it's going to be a glare right into my property. So, um, if this gets approved, he's got to use some kind of siding material T111 that's painted the same color of the house um, that looks like it belongs there and blends in and not an obstruction. Um, in regards to the two foot, three foot, um, I think five foot, I was given five foot setback for my sheds. Uh, I believe five foot setback is appropriate for a for Guy. So those are my concerns, and that's what uh, I wanted you guys to be uh, able to hear from me. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Anybody else, either here or I don't see anybody else on Zoom at this point. Any other public comments? Okay, then we'll close with the public comment and discuss it amongst ourselves. Who wants to go first? I don't, I don't see how we can let it be so close to the property line. I think the five foot has to be, the minimum has to be adhered to. So I, I measured Joe's shed and it's like three and a half foot from the property line. And then I measured the shed on the other guys and it's two foot from the property line on the other side. And I look across the street and there's a shed that's put up the property line straight across from me. Okay. Well, it, I'll give you my normal spiel on, on past sins. Um, the, we've had over the years a lot of sheds either been put in unbeknownst to us or when uh, the rules and the setback rules weren't as strict as they are now. So everybody's going to have a neighbor that's got a shed closer. Everybody's going to have a neighbor that's got a shed right on the line. Um, and that's really what some of the things we're trying to avoid with the zoning board here is to make things a little more uniform 
and uh, you know, be mindful of people's views and things like that. So um, that's why we're concerned about the two two foot setback. And that was really one of the concerns about your initial application where it was right on the line, even though it was in addition to the house. There. Like yeah, I thought if it wasn't uh, um, permanent and it wasn't connected, that I didn't need it for my yeah. I was in the state. Okay. All right, so Sue, you're saying we should live in the five foot setback. My, my concern when I walked around back there was um, I realized you had a big tree on the other side, but you've already got a shed there. Your neighbor's got a shed there. That seemed to me like a better spot for it if you could, if you could fit it in there. Yeah, I don't know how it would fit over there because the trees in the way it would still be a variance. Anybody else? Can you, Are we talking about now terms? where the suggestion was to move it? Well, it's was, just, one of the concerns is to move it five foot off the line, which would be the, the new location in front, <clears throat> right on the water side, the water. <laughs> It's an open, that's an open area. So that, that's why my initial, when we first looked at the application, I thought the logical place is over on the west side where there's more structures and, and uh, where it's not really, it would encumber that you're open, right. uh, you know, the, you know, yeah. and, and it and it creates it gives the appearance of more cover, you know, of, of more density. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it, it wouldn't be so bad if it was. It would be a direct block into the neighbors due to the water, which I don't think on the west, on your west west side neighbor. Yeah, they got a big huge window and <laughs> block all of that. So were you guys saying back here, just so I can try and see what you're talking well, about? Well, just when I walk through it, you know, he the, has the, the large tree there. There's some room between the tree and the house. Oh, you're saying closer to the house? And then there's yeah. in okay. the, uh, on that west side. So there's, a, there's no room from the house to the tree, but on the other side, um, it would block the view of the window. The tree blocks the view, too, but it got some view. <laughs> Can I add one thing? Sure. He has a kitchen window on the side of the house over where this yellow line is. Yeah. That, that's what he, I think he's talking about. He's got a kitchen window right here that goes right in. So if he puts it over here, it would he'd be looking into a shed. If he puts it up against the house. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the kitchen. The way you have There's not enough room there anyway. It wouldn't fit. Because what you're saying is from the that kind of alcove, he has yeah. an L there, yeah, to the tree, right? There might be 10 foot in there, yeah. Yeah. but he has a uh, window in that alcove. That, plus, that window is the kitchen. Window. Plus, that's the only way to get to the backyard. It'd be back and where I got to put a door on a uh, gate eventually or something. That's where the entrance to the backyard is. Joe's side, there's no room to walk. There's like I got one foot off my property line there, so I can't even really walk around the house that way. Yeah. So the other side is the main entrance to the back. Can't put it there. I could put it on the dock. <laughs> Both house. Yeah. I don't. I don't know where else at this point um, you're going to put it and, uh, and not encumber some of the view, your own or your neighbor. Does it gain anything to move it closer to the structure in six foot? <clears throat> So if you kept it five foot from the line, but then sit the plus. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put trees there anyway, so there won't be any view. I'm gonna put privacy trees uh, along the property line. Yeah, both sides. Both sides. Okay. 
Well, we have a we have a living the fence ordinance too yeah. that you can't plant it. The, the living fences can't be any higher than four, four feet. feet, and then they got to stop ten foot short of the water. So it'll be in it'll be in buckets. Yeah, I don't think there'll be affordable plants that they can grow up anywhere I want on my property. Sorry, Sue. Yeah, I have a concern too when you're going to tear down the, the shed that you built illegally. I took 90% of it off and it's just going to be slid over. Well, the frame is still there in place. But it can be just moved over to where it needs to go. Because it's bolted down into the. Into the it looks like it's bolted down into the. Um, it's got one screw on each side that you can pull up in like two seconds, just so the wind doesn't blow it away. Otherwise, the wind would have it high in the water. Well, Kevin, if we moved it closer to the house, mm -hmm. which so it's what's a livable number? Yeah. Right now, it says six feet. It's four feet. State code says nope. zero is Pardon acceptable. Me? State code says zero is acceptable. Okay, because it's state code doesn't care as long as it's not a garage. I can put pipings, I can separate it, drywall. Um, but tool sheds, anything like that, state code has zero mm -hmm. as a setback. Um, local code that's up to you guys because eight foot is what's required unless it's attached. And if it's attached, then it's got to be frost protected. So, ideally, if we're going to attach it, then frost protected so it doesn't eat you can pull the hole. If you can go to zero without attaching, is that what you're saying? Or, like, yeah, if you want to say, if you if you went zero, we just wouldn't attach it. We would just leave it freestanding. It's like freestanding deck. And it would run right to the edge. It would stay in the line of the house, right? Uh, the line of the house, you have a document in that folder that tells you how far that is. I thought that, yeah, it looked like it was. Yeah. So that's two feet off, but, but the, the, the house is not two feet from the line. I thought the house was three feet. So the chimney is 1.1, the house is 2.6 feet. I mean, where the chimney is, it's about 16 inches from the property line. Yeah, one sort of makes sense. Yeah, it's 2.6 feet on, on the survey map from the house to the property line. Yeah, yeah. So if it, if, if it was backed up to the house and run, at the edge, so that it's a clean line. Mm -hmm. And maybe what what did you intend to? You're not going to put that galvanized steel back up, are you? Where on the side of it? For the yeah. On what what, what material are you used to cover? For the siding, it doesn't matter. But the roof is going to be galvanized. Steel. I can use a, a T111 or whatever it is on the siding, but it's not as durable as. And, and the steel can be painted in any color if you're not reflecting to match it or whatever it's got to be. Yeah. Well, I think the steel is a concern for us that it doesn't fit into the neighborhood. I mean, I, I just, it, it totally yeah. sticks out. Um, I don't know what color you paint it to make it look like it would. Be okay, but I think the steel is one of the things that. Yeah, the steel on the sides. Yeah. That's our concern. So, Kevin, you'd be comfortable if it, if it ran uh, parallel to the house? Um, if, is that number 2.6? Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what I'm So, it's 2.6, and you just can't have any windows. And you don't have to worry about the overhang. You can still have an overhang, but you have to think about the fire rating. The galvanized steel, we don't have to worry about, but the T11, we have to worry about a little bit. So we have to have one wall of drywall and it makes you don't know what's going to be in there. And that's what we've done in the past. So, like, yeah. hey, we can't have everyone else, that's what we're going to do. Can you put that picture back up? I just wondered yeah. how, it, how it coincides with Joe's place, how if it were backed up, whether it would. Um, so do you want me to measure 12 foot? It's going to be rough if I measure, but yeah. that's 14, it says. So 12 would be right about there. So it would almost come back to the, 
to the south side of Joe's house. It wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't go wouldn't beyond extend, the main yeah. structure. That's what we're saying. So I just got a question. Is there an association where you can say what color, what materials that guy to use? Or because steel is the best you can go with. Well, there's there's some issues as far as um, what you know what's acceptable, and then there's the fire rate issue um, because it's close to the house. So there's a couple issues there. Because press treated plywood and steel last like 100 years. Yeah. But when, you know, if you had a steel roof and you know pressure treated or T111, those kind of sides, that's what most of the sheds are in town. That, if we get that far, I think that that's what will we'll last. I want to see, yeah. I say one last thing. Sure. I want to speak for you guys. I don't know. If this is. I'm just thinking for aesthetics and thinking for kind of feasibility. Guy, yeah, you have the the glass doors back here. If the structure right now you have it at six. If you did it at three foot off of the house, because you have the house here. So if you had it three foot off, that would give it a walking path. Three foot walking instead of two foot. Like well, right. instead from the house, you have six foot from the house now. If you did three foot and then you moved it over five foot, you would match what the neighbor has relatively what the neighbor has. So five foot and three foot. And it would be in line more or less with Joe. It would be right in front of my door for a while. But it'd be three foot away from the door, so you'd have a walking path back there. Yeah, that'd be hard to bring things in and out and stuff. Okay. I'm a disabled veteran. Eventually, I'm not going to be able to walk anymore. So I got this just disease in my back and stuff. So it's going to be a you know, wheelchair and everything eventually. So, where is the best place in back the house for it? Just not right in front of the door, I guess. And there's a window here and a tree there. Um, I go farther that way a little bit. That's about it. But then I get close to the edge that way. I guess. Maybe if I was down this way more than over, I could go over this way another like three foot off the property line instead of two. And then how far from the house would it us? Because then I would be the yeah, 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 you'd be going close to the water so you can get more compliance with that. I would be eight foot away from the house at least. Yeah. I went that way, and then I'd only be three foot variance for the side. And I wouldn't be crossing any variance for the back. Does so that get me on the back of Joe's house then? Um, it's hard right now to tell you 100%. Uh, actually, you have a survey map. I can tell you that. This house is... So then I would go eight feet away from the house and three feet away from the side. I don't have that to tell you 100%. And I, don't, I don't trust the country for the, the measurement. What if we made it an eight by ten? And then with the width eight by ten, six off the house, now isn't quite as long, it doesn't stick out, block the view in the back. You still go 12 because you won't be crossing the uh, um, 25 feet from the rear in the water. Still enough room to do five. Okay, I think what they're they're trying to do, guys, they're trying to line it up with uh, Joe's house because Joe's got his house here. So they're just trying to line up the structure with that. So that's what they're trying to figure out is a way to line it up. Oh, but you said ten foot. I thought you meant from that from the water. No, no, I'm just saying if it was if it was a little fat or not quite small and skinny. Oh, it was small. Oh, okay, it wouldn't go back. Yeah. Okay. Let's 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 uh. I'll, let's take a motion on his initial request. We'll make a motion that we accept the uh, as we submit it. Okay. You want to second that? I'll second. Okay. Super. Or second. 
All in favor uh, of his uh, variance request the way it's stated in his application and the way it was published in the paper, say aye. Against the proposal? Yeah. Okay, so that's, we're just doing our homework. Here. You have to turn down your initial request. And, and now, if we want to amend it, and it's something you can live with, that's fine. Uh, or if you want to come back with a, a different proposal, we can do that too. But um, no, I, I don't have a different proposal. But okay. Probably even more. We'll give you a suggestion and see if you can live with that. Okay. Okay. So, Kevin, if in order to keep it in line, mm -hmm. it's six foot now. If we made it eight by 10, That, that doesn't take it back as far as as far as if we keep it up. Jones, okay, he's got a padding up here, eight by ten. And then um, if we move it in four feet, keep it off the line a couple more feet, leave yeah. it six feet here. Okay, so eight by ten, six feet. And you want to try four feet off the line. Off the line. And um, I know Lori, you had a concern about the other shed. Um, do you just want to do any kind of conditioning with that? Yeah. yeah, I think we need a date that that, that okay. shed is going to be gone. I, I think this one's just going to be back, but we can just confirm it. Okay, we just make some yeah. six by eight, we're going to be four feet off Joe's line, we're going to be six feet off the house. Like, I'm going to recycle the wood out of it so. Sure, you, can do, you, can, you can do any of that. Uh, we're going to steel roof and we're going to have um, wood, side, wood sides. So it complies with the rest of the village. The 8 by 10, which is 8, which is 10. Uh, the 10, 10 would be north and south. Okay. And then 8 foot wide. Eight, eight foot wide. At 4 feet. Right? 4 feet off the line. So, yeah, so here, here's the conditions that, that I would propose: six, a six, uh, eight, eight by ten shed, four feet off the east line, six foot from the house, and basically constructed with a steel roof and wood siding. That way we won't need any fire. It's just a slower. Okay. You don't yeah. but yeah, yeah. Okay. There. okay, that's my proposal. Would somebody like to second that? The condition of removing the okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll do original that should really be done from last week because we yeah. turned down the previous year. Yeah. With us there, Linda? Yes. Okay, great. A, a six by 10 foot shed, six feet from the house, steel roof and housing siding. Right. Four, yep. feet, off, four feet off the east line. Four feet off the east line. Okay. And immediate removal of the previous structure. It's eight, 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 by, eight, ten. Yeah. Yeah. eight by 10. Eight by 10. Eight by 10. Eight by 10. Eight by ten. Yes. Okay. Yep. Sorry. Okay. And the ten runs north and south. Yep. Okay. So maybe we'll second yeah. that. Sorry, second yeah. that. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Anybody against it? No. Okay. The north and south is the long way towards the water. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that's the footprint you got to work with. Yeah. And I can walk it out with you before you build it. I can pull around. I'll do the site plan. We'll put the concrete outside tomorrow. Okay, just give me a shot before you do, so I can make sure it's in the right spot. Well, I'm gonna have the whole thing concrete, so wherever the shed goes, will be on the concrete or a spot. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll swing down tomorrow. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, guy. So I can buy the material. Yep. Yeah. They. Kevin Hill. I'll okay. set you up with the permit. Get you all set up. Thank Thanks, guys. Thank Good you. to yep. see you. Appreciate it. Okay, the second one um, tonight is a uh, request for a variance. And this is asking permission 
to allow an eight foot structure to remain acting as a fence housing stained glass. So, uh, Kathy, who wants to tell us about this one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can do it there, come up front, whatever you're comfortable doing. Stay here. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've owned, my family's owned our house for 55 years. Um, we've made a lot of improvements over the years. Uh, in 2018, we finished the inside for our 32 year old severely disabled son. Um, it's all handicap friendly inside. And the next step was to do the back patio for him. Um, we started it, COVID happened, so we stopped. Um, six weeks ago, we finally were able to get the um, all the papers in and the patio is built. Um, we are in the process of building a privacy wall. Um, we've spoken to Kevin about it before we, we started. Um, and what we thought we were building and what he saw when he came over ended up being different. Um, okay. So we've stopped progress with it. Um, our son, he has a lot of self-stimulatory behavior. Um, we are on show in our whole lives, wherever we go. This is an area where I can bring him outside and he can just be himself and have full privacy. Um, the reason it's as tall as it is, is the, our, our neighbors, their living room and their patio is, are both raised. Um, if they're in their living room, they can see clear onto our deck area and our patio. And we can see them. And we can see them. Um, so to have it, we need it high enough so that he can be out there and, and have some privacy. Okay. Um, I don't know what other information you want from, from me about the structure. Um, the, the panels are, are part of old garage doors that my husband found at the brush pile um, here in Source Point. Someone threw them away. So we rehabbed them. I spent countless hours um, getting them all set up. The windows that are going to go into the center section, um, the big windows are out of a church that are over 150 years old that I just finished. And they're all stained glass. And the all side windows will be stained glass as well. Mm -hmm. um, we have invested several hundred dollars on a brand new garden, flower garden, um, that faces directly to our neighbor. Um, and also we have flower walls that we have put so that they have a nice view. Okay, so looks like it'll be. <clears throat> Quite nice when it's done. Thank you. We've done a lot of that house. It looks very nice. Thank you. Okay, at this, point, <laughs> at this point, we'll uh, we'll open it to public comment. If anybody on the Zoom call or a person would like to say something. Hi, my name is Jack Park Michelle. I'm their neighbor. Yes. Um, if you remember two weeks ago, I, do. I was denied six inches mm -hmm. on a uh, fence. John Wonder was in opposition to that at the time. And uh, I just want to make sure that everything is, is goes by the code here that people see want to keep insisting that you follow the code. The structure initially was put up with no permit, no 811 for drilling flutters. And uh, it just and they put the structure all by itself or no. With nothing, with no planning, no board approval or nothing. So I'm in total opposition to it being eight foot tall. Okay. All right. I do think there was a, um, a little misunderstanding on our our part in the beginning and just what it was going to be. So I think that might have been the issue, whether it was a fence or uh, landscape. So landscape issues, we, we have to take a little more liberty with as far as uh, the definition versus offense. So I think that's where we got started. We got started on the wrong foot with this project. But um, 
Jack, you were approved. For, you were approved for this for the yeah budget. yeah for for what? No, no, no. For, for the for what you asked for. for they approved you. I was approved. I wanted fifty-four inches. Yeah, they, and I was denied the six inches. No, no, they approved yeah. you. You told me it had to be four foot when I left that day. No, no, they, they, they no. The only you. the only thing we denied for you was that post touching the ground on the front. On the front of the wall. The front of the wall, the first post couldn't touch the ground. They approved you the 54 inches. They gave you the fence that you wanted at the right height. Yeah, we just well, that's not the way on our stuff. Yeah, yeah they, they, they approved it. Yeah. 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 No, I don't like the 54 inches. Yeah. 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 As long as your posts don't go all the way, all the, way to the ground. ground. Yeah. yeah, which they weren't going to no. go, you said. No. no. Yeah, I'm sorry. The They're all going to be attached to the existing. Four by fours. Yeah, not. not, not, not I'm not that digging into the ball. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. The planning board approved four feet. And then here Is they. That we gave you. Yeah. The I didn't understand. Okay. The amount, I was a grant of the amount. Okay. All right. So we got that straight now. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, anybody on Zoom with any comment on this project? See anybody else there? Okay. Just Joe. Just Joe. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one, I guess, uh, is a little different. In um, let's say the hardship is a privacy issue as opposed to uh, um, you know, some of the other hardships we have, the sewer lines and odd shaped lots and things like that. Kind of an issue of dueling fences in the neighborhood. <laughs> I get my feeling, anybody else? I just have a question um, for you on the you have the two car garage and then the um, carport sort of was that approved in your original um, plat when you when you did your um, Remodel the carport. Car yeah. yes. in that? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay. It's all part of the original plan. Okay. And you, if you saw, did you, did you see it? I yeah. just extended the carport yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, with the, with that wall, with with the plants and stuff on it. You have a screen up there on the carport. That's what you're going. To, you're going to add. Are Are you going to change that screen, or is the screen going to stay where the car carport is? We haven't decided about with the screen yet there. Um, we haven't decided that part, um, you know, what that's gonna look like. Um, we've got material now to just do the, the privacy piece for our patio to keep that privacy portion, you know, with the with the colored windows and the full garage doors. In the back side of the patio will remain open? Yes. And we have purchased um, privacy screens that we can take up and put down so that that it, at times where we may be sitting out in the open area with him, we can put the screens up and no one from the street can look through the carport at him. But that's just to put yeah, like behind where I park my truck in the carport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to Temporarily, right now, like close that off, so we have that privacy there. Um, or even in the before the leaves come out of the trees, like right now, the 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 office here, you can see our backyard. Oh yeah. Without the trees, it's without the leaves out of the trees, <laughs> you can see that. So we can do the same thing on this whole side if we need to. But that walk, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because at the end of the carport are the, the three sections. Yeah. Okay, so that's the 24 feet. Yeah, basically near the carport. It's just taking the carport and the same the same way. Do you see this? This is the layout for. So this is where the that's and then these are the stained glass windows in the middle. How far off the line is that? 
How far off the line? Uh, here is there's more pictures of here than the white put together. There's cover exactly where oh. this the carport is 12 feet off of the property line, yeah. and 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 this just extends the carport back. It's still the same 12 feet off the property line. The way I look at it is that if they were here asking for an addition, nobody would. I think, to enhance everybody's I'll see if that wall faces the south. What about sun glare? Well, it's not From a From the glass. Is the colored glass the stained glass? I don't even know. Well, the, the sun predominantly being in the southern sky because we're in the right as far north as we are, the sun is in the southern sky, which is about most of the year. And then the sun glare is actually on us. The way the sun comes and it sets up. It comes where our house is over here, our sun comes up out here over the water, out this way, and it comes, it's always in that sky and it comes over. It's always coming facing north, the sun is. Yeah, I can, I can so, tell you at church that when the sun is coming through the stained glass windows, in the Methodist Church is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. It's worth sitting in. We hope. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. And we get it in the east, you know, yeah. the east windows in the morning, yeah. and, and, and the sun comes through those windows. Once. The only thing is, you can't you can't read up on the screen, so that, that's true. <laughs> you know, but. Any other concerns? No. No. Have we gone to AP in the past? Um, we've done some some privacy eight footers. Most of most of the eight foot requests that we granted in the past have been um, to cover junky neighbors or. Businesses. Some yeah, business, those kind of things. And most of those have all been right on the line. Um, we have Williamson's too, but both the neighbors agreed. That was a 16 foot living fence, if I remember right. Oh, the, yeah, the shrubs. The shrubs. Yeah. We had yeah. Holstermen who agreed on that. Yeah. And that was on the line now. That 12 foot. Um, And if, if I may, the last, sure. if I may, the, the reason we want it to be two feet, or sorry, eight feet high is, is really two reasons. One, it stays right in line with the carport. So it's basically the same height as the carport, but also um, our neighbor's living room is three to four feet elevated on their back of the house. Therefore, as we can see in there, they can see us as well being elevated. So it's a matter of is the four feet from the ground up or is the four feet from four feet to eight feet? Right? That the, the still provides us with that privacy. That's the reason that it is that it's submitted the way it is. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll entertain a motion then on and this one, um, the way it's proposed. I make a motion to accept the application as submitted. Second that. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Oh, against say nay. Nay. Okay. So it was three to one. I would say yes. So it's four. Okay, at this point, uh, we've approved your eight foot 
fence 12 feet off the line. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that concludes uh, the new business for the night. Any old business, Kevin, you uh, need to review? I think so. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything that you and I have discussed. My friend at Wickham is still working. <laughs> <It's> stupid. Oh. <laughs> so he got yeah. that dirt called out. Yeah. Um, that does look better. He looks good. I don't, if, you, if you're out and about and you got that good pass you, I look and look. I don't have any rules on sidewalk painting. I don't know if you've seen a new section of sidewalk that's painted black downtown mm -hmm. in front of uh, one of the houses down there. Mm -hmm. Someone painted two sections of sidewalk black. I don't have anything that stops them. I don't, I don't even know what I would <laughs> say to that. That's a purple house, is it? It is the purple house. So it's great. It is a purple so I, I don't even know. I don't have a code section that says you can't. It's like chalking your sidewalk or. Well, this kind of goes through the book and just. Did that just make it do that? Not. The face and yeah, the face straight up vandalism. Yeah. Well, all the police. Challenge. I don't know. I It's up to Brad. It's not. It, it's mm -hmm. village property. It's not his property. How can you paint it? You have to ask the mayor. You have to ask the board. You have to ask whoever to, if they want to tackle it. But I don't have the code that says. Like I went through sidewalks. You know, I'll show you the sidewalks code. I don't have anything. So if anyone brings it up to you guys, we're welcome to propose changes. We can discuss it. But I noticed his umbrella hangs <laughs> over the sidewalk frequently. And it was also a motorcycle parked on the sidewalk the other day. So he's uh, obviously taking advantage of the village. Yeah. Yeah. Must have been, I, I zoomed the road for him. There's no Question at the village board meeting about people parking on the side. And I'm here to the others in reference to. Say something that happens to things we call near seat. So you got to call 911, but it's usually going to be a trooper or a sheriff patrol. Uh, it's 1202 in the motor vehicle law. And I can't enforce 1202. It has to be a sheriff or a state trooper. So this is all we have on. I'm not sharing my screen. Okay, it's not vandalism. So if I have two sections, I have the state code, I have local It's not rude if you guys want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm interested about the si sidewalk. Uh, <laughs> just, just because Jack and and ourselves do a fabulous job of cutting back all the grass on the sidewalks yeah. so people can walk. And the Caitlin property get it's so narrow that I can't push the wheelchair down. And two, and two people cannot walk side by side down to there. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Is there a code? Um, I brought that up to the mayor, so it's on his list. <laughs> so the basement property is where, so this is the basement property. Marking, carving, or graffiti. If it had words on it, if it had an emblem on it, and anything representational would be considered to be solid color. It's not going to be history or be. When you say that's manipulation of the facing, placing there on, uh, placing there on, marking, carving, or repeating. Okay. So that's under the New York State. And then this is under our local, under streets and sidewalks. That's obstructing. This is dangerous conditions. I think it's dangerous to walk on it at night. <laughs> <laughs> might, yeah. be, might be slippery. It might be hot. Yeah. Can you mention a dog walking in across here? You know, 
And then after I would just encourage people to put it if you, if you guys probably make complaints, just encourage people to put complaints to the board. Yeah. It's still pretty uh, new new business when we got going um, on two weeks. I don't have anything right now either. Okay. For two is, weeks from now. Is Malik gonna so he, he was supposed to be on for planning board. He had a family emergency this past meeting. He couldn't come to the last meeting. He has a conference the day of our next board, board meeting. So I'm not gonna be able to get him to the next meeting unless he cancels his work conference. So then the next meeting would be the 15th. Then you guys would hear it on the 27th? 20, the 20, what is that date? 22nd. Are we here? 15th and the 22nd? Yeah. Okay. August. Um, you don't have anything for the 8th that would be fine with me because I think, isn't that the bolt of honor tournament? It's a, okay. Right now I have nothing. So if I don't get anything, in Three or four days, three days, then I won't be able to advertise anyways. So I won't do it. And I won't be here the 15th or the 27th. You're probably doing breast cancer. No, actually, we're going to be away. Oh, so we won't be here. <laughs> Good thing we have an ad hoc. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the lighthouse one's the 16th. Lighthouse is the 15th, and breast cancer is the 16th. And then isn't um, the fire department is the 29th, isn't it? Correct. Same thing. You don't stand late, go away. My wife doesn't play. <laughs> okay, so maybe the eighth, maybe not. Can I ask a question? Sure. I know that asked what to play that. Can we make a conditional variance for as long as somebody is alive, as long as somebody lives in the residence? New York State variances go with the property. Uh, special permits, permits expire with the property. Because when I first heard this, I thought they have a tough situation. So we could have passed a special permit that as long as that resident is in the house, they can have the eight foot wall. But when if you were to move out, then I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Same with a wheelchair ramp or some municipalities, you'll see that the zoning board has more power than ours. Like if you read in um like classic, they have the ability to issue a variance for a special permit at their discretion. I don't believe we do. Um, I believe you have to go right by what the book says. So if there's something that you want to give a variance to you, you have to give a variance to you, you don't have the ability to do a special permit. I can research that though for you. Would that change, just like change with the LWRP? Should. Lori, are you on uh, the committee? It's not, well, unless the consultant looks at the code to recommend it, but we have not. Okay. We have not recommended that. That's a good idea though. I yeah, mean, absolutely. Because variance is giving someone the world. I mean, you, you had the one with the, uh, who was it down down by you, Straubing, who you couldn't park the jet ski in the parking or in the driveway for more than 15 minutes? I someone called me on that my first year on the job. I don't know how to I asked all right, you are I can't enforce this. And it's true, you can't enforce that. That's impossible. Because the new property owner buys that, they don't they have no idea. Yeah, right. It should that those kind of things it's perfect for. And that was a condition over a hard fun. Court battle, I think, uh, if we struggle with that house in there. Was it your house? Was it your house? Yeah, my house. Oh, what's your house? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> obvious. Zoning denied it several times when we took it to court and won. Wow. And then when uh, Al tells me this, but then when they went to put the uh, garage in, the contractor actually put it back. Two or three feet too far from what it was initially approved for. So I think that's when the neighbors complained. And that's when that thing got rid of it. <laughs> it's a good idea, though. Can so you're not allowed you to park more than two feet. Send me email because I can send yeah. it and have them research how we do it. The driveway? Oh my God. It's going to be blocking the view of the water. Well, if it's, so we just have to make sure the book. 
the book says we have to agree to it. Oh it says we have discretion to do whatever we want, then you guys can do whatever you want. Yeah. Because you guys are quasi judicial, meaning you're saying you're literally yeah. no. When I read the, the regulations book, I honestly said, what's the opposite of objective? Subjective? We are a subjective board. And we don't have to be objective. Yeah. And because it's kind of like a life estate, you know, somebody stays in the house until they die. Well, it's kind of the same idea. Yeah. Okay, the next person may not have the same condition or you know issues and all that they have hardships. Well, it's, I'm sorry that you got that that Ms. Uh, that Ms. that Jack didn't understand yeah. that we gave approval. You should yeah. have called. I did. I talked to Rose the next day. Oh, well, okay. I so talked to his wife and told his wife that he was okay. approved in '54 and nothing can touch the ground. Okay. I went over and talked to them because they had questions about it. So I don't know what the confusion was. I'm not I know there's very good planning on the applicants part tonight to be here two yeah. weeks ago complaining about I, I don't I would have touched the ten foot four. If I because we're talking we're talking about this, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah she is that they weren't there. Well, they should have been there planning to advise that that what he was asking for, you know, to make sure they, because I'm sure the planning didn't know that, you know, they were so, or didn't realize they were so close to the line, you know, and, and uh, I'm just talking about it, it took a lot of hoots, but it comes two weeks ago to complain about the neighbors. Oh, uh, yeah, when, when they were, when they're coming before the state. Well, and the only reason that we knew no, was just, because. Just, oh, no, it's, it's still going. Okay. okay, I think Linda's still taking notes. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. What do we want to approve the minutes? Oh, oh yes. I can't approve this. No, I, I mean, I'm just going to. She's got to ask you how it's going to look. Okay. So, what did you? Okay. All right, and I sent out to you. I, I copied all these guys. Did you say we did a lot of it? Okay. So, just recently? Yeah, six yeah. o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. okay, Linda, then. Uh, We'll look at the revisions and uh, talk about those minutes at our next meeting. Okay, thank All right. you. All right, thank you.